The Cube at EMC World 2014 is brought to you by EMC. Redefine. VCE. Innovating the world's first converged infrastructure solution for private cloud computing. Brocade. Say goodbye to the status quo and hello to Brocade. Welcome back, Jeff Frick here at theCUBE. We are at EMC World 2014, day three of wall-to-wall -wall coverage. We've had so much demand for CUBE here in our fifth year at EMC World that we actually have two CUBEs with double the pleasure, double the insight, double the fun, and double the guests that we can invite onto theCUBE and bring you some of the feel for what's going on at the show and also some of the insight. And one thing that's important about these shows, we talk a lot about business and helping business and making money and doing things more efficiently, but as we always talk, you know, it's people, process, and tech people are involved, and, and a lot of the shows now are, you know, they do a lot of good things for people, and some of the stuff is more kind of open than, 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 uh, than other times. So here, at the middle of the show where we are, on the forum, uh, one of the most popular things, the biggest line that's been going on for days and days and days, is over at the Charity Water booth. So we wanted to ask the, uh, the team over from Charity Water to come on the queue, tell us what's going on, and, uh, and bring a little bit of the story of what some of the good things EMC's doing beyond just helping businesses be more profitable. So we're happy to welcome Hu Chi Wong, McKenna Cunningham onto the Cube, who've been working over there, managing huge lines for days and days and days. So welcome to the Cube. Don't Thanks want to for having give us. Give us a little update for the folks at home as to what's happening over at the Charity Water. Sure, Cube. great. Thanks for having us, Jeff. Um, I've been working at the EMC Gives Back booth, as you've seen, um, and EMC Gives Back is a new corporate initiative. Within EMC, we have this internal saying that we're all about the people. So we've had a legacy of um, doing um, sort of social impact and charity work throughout the company, and we're a big company, uh, uh, upwards of probably 60,000 people um, by, by, by my last count. Um, and we've had people sort of divisions, teams, um, sort of doing their own thing, no rhyme or reason, they just want to do some good. Right. Um, I'm in the marketing department, we've had marketing gives back for several years under Jeremy Burton. And at one point, um, it, it came up that maybe there's something more we could do if we all rallied behind a single cause. Oh, awesome. So that's where EMC Gives Back comes in. So this is going to be a new biannual program where we sort of select a charity in the spring and then one in the fall. So this is our pilot program. Oh, um, we've great. partnered with Charity Water because we really believe that um, clean water is just a basic need that people need. And the global water, water crisis is um, really important. There's 800 million people who don't have access to clean water. 800 and, million yeah. out of seven billion total, right? Exactly. In the, in the world. Exactly, it's so it, it's, it's a real urgent need and that's um, something we want to focus on first and foremost. Great. Um, so that's some, a little bit of the history about EMC Gives Back. Okay, so that's great. So then you want to go out and execute something. So what have you put together over there that's got the lines uh, bending down, the, down and around the hall? <laughs> Absolutely, so I mentioned that EMC Gives Back sort of started as this internal program, but then it was like, okay, we're all about the people. How do we get customers or partners involved? EMC World's coming up. Let's do something. Um, let's make a donation. For every person that's doing this water walk, um, we're going to unlock $5 um, to Charity Water to go toward building wells in Ethiopia. So I'll tell you a little bit more about that. Um, uh, the experience of the water walk is to give people a sense of what women and children every day have to do um, to get water from a clean water source to their villages. So they're walking um, about, on average, three hours a day. Three hours? Yeah. Um, and each of these jerry cans um, filled, which people are carrying, are 40 pounds on either side, 80 pounds total. But you're only doing it for 30 seconds. Right. So think about you know being a woman or a child and all that time away from your home, being productive, um, going to school. Um, it's a really scary thing. Um, right. So when Charity Water builds these wells, um, it cuts that walking time from three hours to 30 minutes. Wow. So. So what they're doing is is you go over there and you, you sign up and you make your contribution and, and get into the money and then they grab the two, like you say, the jerry cans full of water, bright yellow, and they make them do a lap around the booth. And uh, yeah, it's super said, simple. It's super simple and everyone just goes, oh, these are heavy. Yeah. And, and then, you know. Three hours equates to what distance are a lot of these doing? Uh, yeah, I think the mechanic is doing average. That, yeah, so it depends. Three hours is kind of the average time, and it's not uncommon to hear of people walking for eight hours. I mean, that's time and back, so right. um, obviously the time back is a little bit longer. Um, 
because you're carrying, you know, um, you're carrying a heavy weight. Right. Uh, oftentimes, actually, here it's a bit shorter, so we up the ante a bit. Uh, but 10 gallons is the amount that um, a family will, will use on average for all their needs. So for drinking water, for um, washing themselves, for tending to their gardens, and that's a very limited amount. Here in the states, we use you know, 40 gallons or more every day per person, right. per family. So, uh, so that's kind of a, a bit up the ante. But right. you'll often see uh, women and children in the field carrying them on the small of their back with a strap across their shoulders uh, and, and walking that distance with that um, with with that uh, that way of holding it. Wow. Yeah. So it's interesting to see people here do the water walk. You have these big strong mangs, right. six, six feet tall, and they'll do the 30 feet and they're just like, this is hard. <laughs> and then it's like, imagine being a woman or child having to do this every day. Every day. So it's something, you know, it's an experience that stays with you. So next time you're taking a shower or just taking a sip of a water bottle, you know, think about how people around this world, 800 million people, have right. to walk these distances because they don't have that clean water. So it's nice for EMC um, to be part of the solution. Right. No, it's great. And, and a big shout out to the organizers here at the show. Um, Simple Water here, they've had water all over the show yeah. for the whole three days. Buckets of, uh, of clean water for us. We don't have yeah, to we walk don't think three about hours, it. Yeah. but it's been terrific. And everyone gets dehydrated at these shows, so that's been good. So talk a little bit about how much money you're raising, who's given the money, um, and then what that money's gonna be used for. Sure, so as I mentioned before, EMC had this goal of um, $5 per person that does the water walk with a goal in mind of $10,000 unlocked per day, okay. and that would go toward four wells in Ethiopia because it costs $10,000 to build one well, um, which will go to serve 250 people in a community in Ethiopia for years to come. So I'm really proud to announce that um, as of day two, last night, we were, we've were we been able to unlock close to $50,000, which is gonna go to five wells in Ethiopia awesome. um, so that has exceeded our goal um, and in part that's thanks to Brocade's um, lump sum donation of $25,000 to help us out um, so we actually have the booth open through the end of EMC World on Thursday so hopefully we'll be able to unlock another one or two booths well that's awesome so uh, one or two wells sorry. yeah if you're at the show you're watching live make sure you stop by it's right by the social lounge and the alumni lounge and the big giant big screen with all the beanbag chairs you get a sticker on your uh, on your badge you get yeah, just like that. Something <laughs> nice. Then you go get a t-shirt, a nice little uh, memento. Mm -hmm. that's, that's terrific. Great programs, great to give back. It's nice for, for the customers to be able to contribute as well as the partners. Yeah, just the feedback we've been getting has been amazing from customers and partners. They're thanking us personally for EMC doing something like this. Some people want to actually walk around multiple times to unlock as much as they can toward Charity Water. It's been really great. Um, some people have told me, you know, this is... Um, especially meaningful because I used to have to do this in my home country. So when someone says that to you, that's just incredible. And now you're sort of working in high tech and you're a sales guy and you're probably living in most likely a Western world right. where you have, you know, you can really think back to your childhood and to see, you know, how people have it where, you know, you just turn on a tap and, and you know, it's just a very different experience. Yeah, that's funny. Um, I just met a guy before we came in outside at a great accident. He said, good morning. He's like, great accident. Where are you from? He's from Nigeria. Where are you from? Well, yeah, it's kind of boring, just San, you know, San Francisco area, not that far. So, no, that must be really meaningful for, for them to see kind of both sides of the equation to be able to give back. Yeah. That's great. So, have you picked the next uh, the next charity for the next uh, next half of the year? Um, we're gonna so wait and hold that for later. Yeah. Um, so the theme is gonna be food. So okay. we're gonna try to maybe localize it a little bit um, for the different offices that we have globally to partner with a local food bank. Um, they want to have EMC World to leverage, so that's a little bit um, a different model. Um, but um, I think we're committed to water, and we'll hopefully do something similar again for EMC World next year. Awesome. Um, yeah. Any final words before we cut out? I mean, this is this is uh, really good for you guys to take the time to, to give back and take time out of your day jobs. I don't know. Got your real titles up on the screen, but really it's all about the charity water today. Yeah. yeah. McKenna, do you want to tell, talk a little bit about Scott, actually? Yeah, so Scott uh, is our founder and CEO, and he's going to be here keynoting on Thursday morning. All right. Uh, we'll be serving breakfast. What time on Thursday? Give a little plug for Scott's uh, Great. Keynote. So uh, it's at 8.30, I believe. Yes. Yeah. So um, it is uh, 8.30, uh, Thursday morning, uh, when everyone, uh, you'll just have to make a quick recovery from that Imagine Dragons concert on Wednesday <laughs> night. Um, but it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic event. Uh, fantastic talk and uh, and, and I uh, hope that everyone can make it out yeah there. we were trying to get Scott on but unfortunately the timing just didn't work out <laughs> um, so so last word is if people aren't here want to contribute either they were touched by the by the five dollar thing or, or they're not here and they'd like to contribute where can they go to uh, to help great so they can either come uh, to the booth and see me or uh, they can also visit mycharitywater.org 
backslash EMC gives back. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming on. I really appreciate it. Good luck on blowing the uh, blowing the goal away over the next couple of days and get a couple more wells built. So we're on the Cube. We're at EMC World 2014, day three of wall-to-wall -wall coverage, and not one but two cubes. So we can get more guests on, bring you uh, the action for what's going on here on the show. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. I'm Jeff Frick. You're on the Cube.